I, I moved to Kansas City four years ago, not knowing anyone in town, and and was a you know went from having a book of business to owning a book of business, and so it's connected at every point in my life, spiritually, in my relationship with Christ, and how to develop my business with Christian principles and to connect with other men who helped me accountable. But I had when I moved here, I had transitioned from most of my life into the marketplace into a year of working for a church because I felt that's what you had to do. And I found that that wasn't my calling and that God needed ministers in the marketplace. So when I moved up here, was introduced to a lunch where I met Gary Tenpenny. And uh, we went to a lunch and, and, and he's, I basically said, how much money are you guys wanting and what do I have to, you know, what, what are your, what's my time commitment? He says, no brother, I just want to meet you where you're at and walk alongside you. And so everything tonight really revolves around that. Each, you know, each guy is at a different place in his walk uh, with God. And so some guys, you know, where they're at, wherever they're at, uh, need one-on-one -on -one discipleship. Some people need just an other group of guys to, to, to study in the Word. Some people need to integrate their faith. CBMC has those tools to connect it. And, 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 but ultimately, I want to just say one thing about what drives me here and, and why you know, I, I get involved. I'm, I'm involved in just about every ministry we have. And it's because there's a real opportunity in this day and age, and, and, and it's been touched on tonight. But guys, uh, before COVID, less than 30% of the population is going to go into a church to hear the gospel. But the majority of the popula population is going into their workplaces and where they live. And so we have got to be equipping people to carry out the great commission that David talked about. We're all called as Christians to make disciples and to share the good news of Jesus Christ with everybody. It's not just the pastors, it's not just a select few. We're all as Christians called to do that. And so if people aren't there equipping folks to do that, the Great Commission's not gonna get carried out. And so I love the discipleship. I, when I came in and encountered that, the discipleship, the personal walk, which ultimately is what seems to impact business as much as anything, uh, is getting taught and communicated at a level at CBMC that I've not seen anywhere, including in the church. I have just so enjoyed all of the men that are in Tim's life now that hold him accountable and that encourage him uh, in ways that I can't encourage him. I just really appreciate that. That has been a really great part of his life and it's impacted our whole family. My walk with Christ is much stronger than, and, and you know, what we don't have is people modeling how to follow Christ in an intimate way and how to disciple other people. And thanks to Gary and other men in my life, I've seen that. I would not be a, a, as mature in Christ as I am, which, those who know me well know that I've got plenty of room to go, but that's why I need these men in my life. So I would be far, far beyond, behind where I, where I am today. And that's what drives me to get back and do the same for other men. I feel that every time Tim is done with an event um, or a retreat, he comes back um, energized and feeling filled up. And I really um, have benefited from that and seeing him interact with our children and interact with me and it's very, been very worth it. Any time that he spent away with a CBNC, CBMC event it was worth it because he came back a better man. I got to go to the, 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 the gathering this winter in Tampa of the area leaders in the, in the national ministry and to meet David and to hear where the vision's going. And so um, when you get to hear everything, David had 10 minutes tonight to share where things are going. Other people had about five minutes. If you got to hear everything, behind it, the heart is international and all the young professionals. If you give John another hour, uh, yeah, everybody's gonna be crying and hugging and, <laughs> and uh, crystal clear on their next steps and everything else. So uh, anyway, uh, it's hard to say just one, but, but those events and just seeing the depth of what, where this, what this organization is doing to carry out the Great Commission, and, and the vision behind it, it just, that's what excites me. We uh, try to go on a couple's retreat. We have four kids, so we have to get away once in a while. And um, we went on a couple's retreat in Colorado, and I was complaining about some goal I wanted to reach. And Tim said, you know what? I just had the greatest tool to use. And so he started using the um, leadership coach training tools for me and walking me through a goal I wanted to achieve. And he was asking so many great open-ended questions. And because of that, I was able to reach that goal. And I really, um, I was impressed by his coach coaching training.